Hello, hello, hello. So we're going to take a look at Nimbus, a cathedral weathers bundle. Someone had mentioned this to me. Now it's not very big. It's, it's under 34 megabytes. This is ported by Bass Painter. And I'm saying it that way because this is a merge or a pack of a lot of different things. So I'm not going to go through and read all those, but you can see this is Cathedral Weathers with a lot of other things. Uh, let's see, is there anything special to talk about here? You know, uh, it says this is just their personal set of preferences, so you know it's going to be a little subjective. You may or may not like everything. They're trying to go for a gloomy or foreboding look. Um, I don't usually use the bleak and somber settings that, the, that this menu is going to offer. But we may try it and take a look at it just to get an idea. But that's not usually what I use. I usually use a more bright setting because I prefer to have a, a bright... You know, I'm playing a video game. I just prefer to have a more colorful uh, game most of the time. However, I understand atmospherically you may want different things. All right, so, and then it looks like it includes Minty's Lightning so that you can have fork and sheet lightning during storms. And we've played around with that before in another mod. So, all right, tell you what let's do instead of me rambling on. Let's just hop in the game. We'll run around. We'll try some different weathers, you know, just kind of see how everything looks, all that type of thing. See you in the game in a moment. So I want to show you when you log into the game, you're going to get Minty's Lightning Guide that's going to pop up in your um, in your inventory. And what you do is you click on that. I just hit the A button and you will learn that spell. Now, if I remember correctly, it's been a while. Bear with me. I have slept since then. I think it becomes a power. Yes. And you get this lightning config. We've done this before with another weather mod. But let's go and uh, drop in the world somewhere, and we will check that out. I just wanted to make sure I mention that, because if I skip past that now, I will forget. So see you in the game in a moment. All right, so I brought us outside of Whiterun here, because this seems like a good place to look around and see weather. I'm going to go first person, because I think that will work better for our purposes. And I'm just going to move our time. If you look around... I think we have a good feel for how this looks. I think it looks pretty good. I'm just, just moving us around here. The shadows, the fog seems to change as my as I rotate my view. The fog, the mountain fog changes a little bit. So, okay. All right, but overall, I can see what they mean by their idea of a sense of foreboding and all. Let's see, let's see, um, all right, so here we are, we're on our lightning thing, but we don't have a storm going on right now. What's our settings? We have fork lighting, medium frequency, sheet lightning, medium frequency, no logging, no feedback. So what if we did frequency and let's just say we're going to do high frequency for this um min distance max distance i don't know what to change on here for example placing both max and min distances to medium you only get medium strikes and you should not get hit <laughs> this is how far away the minimum range of strike will be placed also lose alongside maximum range is possible to force strikes into certain distances okay so minimum i'm going to leave minimum on local that's fine i don't have a problem with that and then the max distance i'm going to leave it on long that's not, i think that's perfectly fine okay so i'm not going to mess with that i'm not going to mess with the blooms okay sheet i think i'm going to do the same thing frequency i'm going to put it on high and then probably 
Now they have it on medium. I'm going to put it on local. Just I'm just being silly. We'll see what happens. And long default. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So if we get a storm at some point, we may be able to see some good uh, lightning. Now damage, just visual effects. Yeah, just visual effects. Thank you. Miscellaneous. Only occur during certain weather conditions, but you can force one below. Okay, I'm not going to force it right now. If we don't get any lightning, we'll come back to this and force, force some lightning, okay? Now, all right. Let's look at our Cathedral Weathers options, and I'm in the wrong place. Pardon me again. It's Cathedral Meditation. This is always the power they give you, and they'll call it a spell, but I call it a power. Um, this is always what they give you when you're dealing with Cathedral Weathers, okay? They give you these options. We've gone over these options before in other, um, in other shows now. I usually use Vivid, and sometimes I hit it a couple of times just to get some color. But let's try their idea. I think they said Bleak. Let's try Bleak. This is just for fun, just to do something a little different. Seasonal Perspective. Don't we like Variation? I like Variation. Um, Climate. Oh, and if you go Somber instead of Normal. So I'm going to go Somber. And I'm going to do Done. And we'll just see what we think of this. This looks... It's a different idea. And it's not like heavily desaturated, but it's just a different appearance. Like if I go in, watch this, I'm going to go in and change this. Just look at this for a moment. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to change this to Vivid. And you see a significant difference. And I, I sometimes I hit it several times, and then you'll really see a difference. Now let's um, let's hop out of that, and then I usually do a normal climate. But just right off with the vivid, you can tell a difference. I got quite a bit more color saturation, and it all depends on what you like. So. Depends on what you like and what you're after. Definitely, I mean, for some playthroughs, if you want a different atmosphere, there's nothing wrong with the bleak. Um, I'm going to put it back to that just for fun because we were going to try something a little different. There is bright. I mean, there's all these different ones, and you can... Uh, here, let's clear that up. Let's show you bright. See how it's brightening. This, you can see that. And then... You can do natural, which is really not significantly different. You can do sharp. And you can do these several times to intensify the effect. That's why I said I do several vivids. You can do bloom, which I find to be annoying. But you can do bloom, and you'll get a lot of bloom. Um, let's see, can I show you anything that would make that particularly interesting? Um, not that I can think of right off. Anyway, all these options are available to you. You can, you can run through and hit all of them a bunch and, and really make it wacky, I guess. But, uh, you can always hit clear to bring it back to whatever the default is, which is the default is actually fine. I don't find any problem with that, but... Again, let's go with their idea of bleak. And let me make sure I have somber chosen. Okay, just for fun. Because we're going to run around and just try their idea. Now, if I was using this, which... If I like this weather mod, I might use it. If I use this, I will probably do the vivid instead. But, just letting you know. Alright. So let's move through time here a little bit. And let's see what we get. The sun went down. And, okay, so we're getting darker nights. Oh, we're getting some rain. How nice. Okay, we might get some lightning. So, 
This does have some darker nights, as you can tell. At least I hope you can tell it. I don't do extreme dark nights, especially for recording, because it makes it... Um, I think it makes the video a little harder to enjoy. If you've ever tried to watch um, a TV show or a movie, and it's really dark and your TV is not set correctly, and it's really dark and you can't see, or if you're in an extremely bright room and then it makes your screen look black, that's just super annoying. So I try to make it so that our uh, game is bright enough that you can enjoy watching whatever I'm up to. But, I mean, this has its own appeal. And look, you can see lightning in the clouds off in the distance. We're not necessarily getting a... See, there's some lightning up. I'm just trying to get us some atmosphere going. I like this. I do. I like this. Now, this might be a little dark, like I said, for uh, my playthroughs and things like that. But... That doesn't mean I'm totally opposed to it. I could probably... Oh, is that a dragon? That is a dragon. I could probably change it um, so that I get more light anyway. Because Cathedral... The good thing about Cathedral, it, you can brighten your... Oh, let me show you that, matter of fact. You can always change your nocturnal sight. You can brighten it up. You can say, oh, give me some light. Where did that go? Oh, I lost it. Okay. And, and I don't know how many times you would have to do it. Well, wow, is this really making a change? Hmm, I wonder if they've overwritten this. Can we tell much difference? Normally, you can brighten your night up just by using this. Not sure that was working. Yeah, I'm not sure. They may have disabled that. That doesn't appear to be happening. That's too bad, but they are using darker nights, so they may be overwriting it with that. So, actually, with the, the Cathedral Meditation, you really don't need darker nights, because you can... That's one of the good things about Cathedral Weathers. You can actually control how light or dark it is right there. You don't really need another mod to give you darker nights. But that's okay, still. We're looking at this as a package, and, you know, if they've turned certain things off, that's okay. What, what are you doing here? Oh, do I have a weapon? Hey, I have a weapon. How nice. I, I can't remember what I'm doing at the time. We've got too much stuff going on. Uh, did I see that? I thought I killed that dog. Okay, that was strange. I thought that dog was dead. Okay, so that's a little extra something for the show. Nonetheless, okay, now realizing that this is Darker Nights, it's supposed to be dark. I hope that this still shows up good in the video. We have a dragon flying around, though. He's not come to see us. But nonetheless, I think this is good and uh, atmospheric. Oh, we just had a crash. Okay, I don't know what that crash was about, so I'm going to have to check that out. I don't know if it's related to Nimbus Weathers or not. This game is very lightly modded, um, so we're going to have to take a look and see. There could be something in this package that I have a conflict with. So I'll try to take a look at that and come back. All right, so picking this up again from where we left off, more or less... I have everything set back the way it was. It could be our settings somehow caused the issue. So, I'm not sure though. I looked, I have a very light load order, so, and I'll show that at the end. Uh, there's really not much of a reason for it to be crashing. Um, but, let's at least try to go through this again and see what we get. So I'm going to put us forward again. Now here is, I should take us through an hour at a time. To see how the lighting is changing. And that's an interesting, nice effect, right? 
We'll go for it an hour, get a little more, a little more dusky, we'll say. We start to see the sky come out. Now this does affect some things as far as the sky goes. We'll look at that. I forget what it says. There's a lot of meshes and things involved. And it could just be that, you know, it's not playing well with something else I have going on. Again, I'm using the bleak and somber, and this is using darker nights. It could be where I played around with cathedral meditation. You know, maybe I overdid it, uh, trying to brighten the night up. So I'm not going to do that this time. You notice this time we did not get any rain. We have a little aurora up there. The northern lights, that looks good. This is darker nights, so it's pretty dark. It should provide a certain dramatic look, though. Very nice. That looks good. Again, let's just try to go through, and we'll, we're going to travel around and look at some other things. And supposed to be using the Sky Mesh from the Picta series. Um, I don't know if it's really done anything with the galaxy and stars, though. We'll, we'll look back at that again to try to see what, it, what it's doing. I don't have... This is a very lightly modded game. I don't have a lot of, a lot of mods in place, so... Is that dragon back out here? He was out here before. Yep, there he goes. He's in, out here in the rain. Or, I mean, he was in the rain. When it was raining last time. Now, I'm going to wander back over towards the uh, giant camp. This is where we had our crash last time. I was wandering over this way. But I didn't understand. Okay, I had a slowdown right there. Interesting. Anyway, um, that was a slowdown, though. It was not a crash. That's, that's different, but I did feel it jerk. Let's go forward another hour. Okay. It might have had to do with the lightning and the rain that we were having. And maybe I had messed up the configuration of Minty's lightning, so it may have been a setting I chose that caused the issue. I don't know that. But I could not find anything that should be conflicting with a weather mod. I don't have any other weather mod on. I don't have any other lighting mod. Um, I do have display enhancements, but I'm not using anything from it right now. So this looks pretty good. And then here's the... The morning sunlight and all that. Okay, this looks nice. The sun's coming up. All right. They're not overdoing the god rays. I forget what I was looking at the other day. That whatever it was, they were really overdoing the god rays. But we'll go travel around. Let's go look somewhere else. Uh, maybe that crash was just one of those things that happens occasionally. You know. The vanilla game crashes occasionally, so I can't take one crash too seriously, alright? Okay, so let's move on. Let's go look at something else. Alright, so I brought us here to Markarth. Now, due to technical issues, that delay was a lot longer <laughs> than you might realize. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Everything looks pretty good in the sky. It's very nice. The lighting looks nice. We know weather is... These weather mods are all about lighting and atmosphere, right? Let's see. Can we hop up here? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I guess we can. Boom. Okay. Let's hop up here for a minute. Let's fast forward through the day and see what we think. Our moon, our little moon is moving. Everything looks good. There's the sun. Let's see what happens here. It should go down. Whoa. Okay. It definitely went down, but we still have plenty of sunlight, which kind of funny, I guess, in a way, but 
it's a game. Let's just relax. <laughs> um, this looks good. You know, in a way, it looks really good. In some ways, it looks kind of like a painting. And I don't mean that in a negative, bad way. I mean in a good way. The lighting changes. I'm still using the somber and bleak settings. So just be aware of that. You could use different settings, but I thought for this show, we would do something different. We're getting the uh, lights again. Which, you know, maybe they turned that up a little bit, and I'm okay with that. There's the big moon. You watch that. Oh, it's gone. Oh, now here we're getting weather again. Now, last time we were getting uh, rain and lightning when we crashed. You see how the clouds are stirring? It looks it does look ominous. The lightning looks good. Look at that. Looks really nice. And remember, I said it so the lightning couldn't hurt you. So it's just a visual effect. Let's go forward an hour. Oh, and it's really dark. So it's really dark out here. This is not a bad thing. I'm just admitting that it is. I'm going to do a quick save here in case we have another issue. Last time we had an issue, it was raining and lightning and I was wandering around. And it could be any number of issues. It may not be anything to do with this mod. Like I said, sometimes the vanilla game will just randomly crash, so I'm not going to definitely blame this mod unless it happens a bunch. So any number of things could have caused that. But this looks pretty cool. Now you notice that, like I said, this is dark and the lightning light lightens things up, you know, gives you that. That's kind of realistic the way it brightens up everything around you. And the uh, thunder sounds good. So this has definitely got its own atmosphere and feel to it. Not a bad thing. You might not want to be out much at night. <laughs> Depends on your feeling about that. Okay, so that's good. All right, well let's let's go through some more weather here. Oh no, am I being shot at? What are y'all after? Are you after bunnies or something? Well, you can see some fighting here. Oh. Well, yes, you got to see... Was that half a second of fighting? That was not much fighting. <laughs> oh, are we back to this? Are we right back to those people? Hold on. We are. Look at her. Oh, that was... Another half a second of fighting, so this is okay, so this is entertaining. We're gonna move on though, okay? We're gonna we're gonna do something else. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I took care of that. I had to put the god ring on and take care of it, because I don't I don't know what kind of settings I have or anything. Um obviously I think I'm on legendary and this person probably doesn't have any um enchantments on their stuff. Let's um, let's move forward though through the night. Let's let's take us through. That's what I wanted to do, and I'm not going to let these boogers distract me from it. Let's just go ahead and do that. We we'll just cut through a little bit at a time. We get some interesting lightning and effects. I want to bring this up a little bit. And the rain is looking pretty good. Trying to figure out. Sometimes, some rains I like better than others. I think this one is fine. I think the way this rain looks is okay. It's fine.
Yeah, I don't see anything really wrong with that. Okay, so you get the idea. Now we got some fogginess because it's a rainy morning. You know how those can be foggy and dreary. So no surprise there. All right, so I am. Oh, and a chicken. Hello, chicken. How are you doing? So anyway, I'm going to take us on somewhere else and we'll look at the weather and lighting again. Okay. All right. Be back in a minute. So I decided to come down to Falkbury just for a southern tour type of thing. Just looking around, just getting a feel for everything. Let's hop up here. Well, let's not. <laughs> what is it? Just trying to get an idea. Everything looks pretty good out here. No rain right now to speak of. No storm. Now remember, this is a very lightly modded game. There's really not much going on here. But this looks pretty good. I think the lighting and the weather effect and everything. There isn't much weather going on other than just a nice day, but still. Seems cool. We're getting a little thunder. I wonder if the storm's coming in. Can't tell. Yeah, but you hear that. It sounds like there's a storm coming in. I don't see anything, though. Interesting. So just trying to give us... I, I decided to come down to Fall Creek just so we could look around and see what the weather would be like down here in the woods. And just walk the road a little bit. But not getting too much of anything in particular. It's a good view right there. Oh, oh, okay, now what are we getting? Now we're getting some weird god rays. But we haven't seen many god rays, and this, this one doesn't appear to overdo it. It has an effect for us here right now, this evening. Let's go for it again. Oh, and here we are. It's really dark out here. Which is what we expect, right? It's supposed to be. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. That looks nice. Oh. Wow, our lighting and everything suddenly changed as those went away. Anyway, still pretty cool. Like I say, darker nights, so don't be surprised. Um, it looks good, though. Just trying to give us some variety of what this mod brings weather-wise and how things look as you wander around the world. We'll probably go another place or two, and I'll try to go through this a little faster, but overall, I think this mod has a lot of good promise. I I mean, they, they use a judicious amount of God Rays. They're not going crazy with it. See, there's a little bit of God Rays going on here, but now... Not so much. It's not so bad. It's not all the time. It's just the way the sun is coming up over the trees. You know, they're, they're presenting um, an effect that makes sense and done in a pretty good way, really. And then we get high up again. Nonetheless, just trying to show that to you. Let's move on. Um, we'll, I'll see you somewhere else in a minute. 
All right, so here we are at Iverstead, still kind of taking the southern route. Just noticing the lighting and the appearance of things. Looks good. I imagine if I had some uh, other mods that were making other things look good, this would be even better. But uh, as it is, just looking at the weather and lighting, I think it's fine. I thought we would take a little walk out here and just move forward in time. Maybe, well, maybe the bridge here will be fine. Maybe this will be a good place. See the moon over there? Well, did oh, wow. Okay, that was a weird, that was a weird thing. That hour took a long time to go by. <laughs> Not sure what that was about. Um, okay, this is okay. Uh huh. All right, that looks cool. Might be a little bit of something going on there, haze wise, but it's just a different lighting. There's another. Move forward another hour, and the moons look cool. Oh, and now it's getting really dark. And yeah, it is really dark, and there's the big moon there. My goodness. Of course, I'm in a well-lit room, so when it gets really dark, it really is dark for me. It may not be so dark for you when you watch this. It just varies. But just to give you an idea of the lighting what you can expect in this mod. Definitely, these darker nights like this had some dramatic effects. It makes sense. I'm not putting them down. I can't use them all the time because I feel like my videos are too dark when I do that. But nonetheless, that's just me. So here we go, we, we've got some rain, the sun is coming back up, still looks kind of bleak, which is supposed to, right? But yeah. Alright, I, I mean, I think we could about call it here, It's we've pretty much gone through some good weather, some lighting... Um, I feel like I should head up north somewhere, though, for us. Maybe up to the college or somewhere where we can try some weather, or maybe even Windhelm. Something like that. I think I missed clicking on a few of those. I think I forgot to click. I think I thought I clicked on it, and I didn't doesn't appear to really be a problem. It appears to be a, a me. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, let's go one more place. Let's go somewhere north, maybe up around Solitude or Dragon Bridge, somewhere where there's some variety, and see what we can find, okay? All right. All right, so we're here in Dragon Bridge, of course. I thought this would be a good place to kind of walk from here. Let's see what time of day is it. It's in the afternoon. Everything looks pretty good. You take a look around. I think everything looks pretty nice. I think the trees and everything, the, the lighting is what I'm thinking of. The lighting on everything looks pretty good. Again, using the bleak and somber setting, I admit I usually use the more vivid setting, but definitely nothing wrong with this. This is a different atmosphere. Depends on what you like. And there are a lot of settings to choose from with the cathedral meditations. And I think all of them have their good and bad points, depending on what you like. That was not a good jump, was it? Very well. 
Anyway, I was just trying to get on an idea. There we go. See the lighting change. You can see. Um, hold on. See if we can land up here pretty decently. Well, that was okay, I guess. Not the best. You can see the blue palace out there in solitude. But probably not for long because it's going to get dark. Oh, look at the moon. Cool. Yeah, I'm always falling for the moon. And I'm like, Ooh, look at the moon. But it looks cool. Anyway, if I cannot get lost, we can wander down to here. May or may not get any rain or anything. I'm just sorry I'm just trying to look and I am looking at the moon I know I know I am anyway trying to look around some though again darker nights looks good I don't think they did anything to the sky or the stars but they are using some of the Picta series stuff so we'll see we'll take a look at their notes again in the mod Just going to fast, keep popping us forward an hour at a time, try to get an idea of how things look as you go through the game. You know, I didn't try. Does she have a torch? Let's try her torch. Darker nights, the torch doesn't seem to make a lot of difference, does it? No, it doesn't. That's okay. I mean, that's just a choice of not putting that down. All right, so we're getting some light here. The sun is coming up. Do that, okay. So this is good. All right. All right, and then there's the blue palace again in solitude. You can see that from here. Oh, Watch the, skies, oh, the guard is scaring me. This, that's another mod we, we need to review, but, um, but still, the guard is scaring me. <laughs> but here we go. I mean, this is... Uh, I think this is a good mod. It has its own style and flair, and I mean, you know, it's subjective. You'll either like this style and the way they've done things or not um, I might give it a whirl for a while um, I've been looking for something in my playthrough uh, I'm trying to make a new load order and I've really just kind of struggled to find a good combination of things so maybe I can maybe I can find that now Maybe I can use this weather mod is what I'm thinking. Sorry, I'm distracted because I'm looking around. I think everything looks pretty nice, though. I mean, I would use different settings for myself, but there's certainly nothing wrong with these settings. It has its own atmosphere, and it gives you a particular feel for the game, you know, a, um, a certain sense. Uh, well... Anyway, it's atmospheric because it's a weather mod, right? Okay. All right, so let's move on rather than me just kind of stumbling around. Let's go take a look at the mod and see what we uh, can see there. All right, so this has been Nimbus, a Cathedral Weathers Bundle. I want to take a look at these notes over here again. I want to see, let's see, it includes edits and fixes made by Rudy. Adds more diversity to Cathedral's seasonal feature. Improves most of the sky-related meshes. Uh, fixes the horizon scene and stuff. 
rain, fog, thunderstorm weather from obsidian weathers. Okay, I like that. Nights are now darker, configurable. Yeah, the lightning is configurable. Exchange some audio from Minties with Cathedral Thunder. Okay. Um, large scale distant volumetric mist fog effects. Okay. And then there's a mention here of all these mods. So. That all seems okay. I mean, I don't see any issue with this, and it does have the Picta series improved sky meshes by True Draconis. So, overall, just wanted to go back over that and take a look and see if there was anything unusual that we might have been missing, but I think we covered most of the lighting and weather. It seems like a really good mod. Um, now, we did have a crash early on even though I had done a reset and all. However, that may not mean anything. I didn't have any further problem this mod, and, I, and I'm not blaming this mod for that crash. I'm just saying that I experienced a crash. It was not a big deal. Um, we came loaded right back in and continued on with no issues. So that could have happened for any number of reasons. Uh, this is my game load order, and sometimes I'm moving mods in and out, and it could have been totally unrelated. So, just, I'm not going to put it on this mod, because I don't see that this mod caused any problem. Also, though, just to be aware, I was in and out of the powers from this mod and changing things around. It could be that I myself caused some little issue by doing that and trying to play around. I was trying to play around with the the night vision, if you remember, the nocturnal setting. And it, since this also includes darker nights, I probably shouldn't have been doing that because I don't think that it was making any difference. If you notice, if you remember when I was doing the uh, the night and I was trying to brighten the night vision up, the nocturnal setting, it uh, didn't seem to make a difference. And then it was shortly after that we had the crash. So I'm pretty sure that if the crash was caused, it was due to my monkeying around with all those features so much. Okay. When I just came back in and I just set it for bleak and somber and set the uh, lightning the way I wanted it, it was fine. Didn't have any further problems. So just want to mention that make you aware of that. I really think this is a good mod. I like the way things looked, so I'm probably going to try it out in my game load order. So you may be seeing this more in the future, just because I want to I try this out and see what I think. The only thing with the darker nights is I tend to play in a well-lit room, and that can make, make it too dark on me and make it difficult. So I might... Um, anyway, I'm going to try it for a little bit and see. I don't know if I'll be able to hold on to it or not, but I liked the idea of this. And if I do a vivid setting, which is what I usually do, it may brighten it up enough that it won't make any difference. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you later. Live and love. Woo. Live and love. Beware the manhandler. Yeah. $39. My goodness. Okay. For a magazine, $39. Yeah. We better have some manhandling going on. Good Lord. This has been an How That Smarts production. <laughs>